Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com and today I'm making a Dollar Tree gnome with some fun accents. If you would like to make them with me, just boop that big old nose and stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. It helps me a lot with this YouTube algorithm. I'm going to be making this guy, cutie patootie, 11 inches tall, and I'm going to give you the 411, which is information on what doesn't work. You see this guy right here? He looks good on camera. Ooh, look, look at this muffler. But in person, after you cut it, uh, it, it doesn't look good. I'm gonna be honest. I know that there's a lot of crafters crafting with this. I was so excited to find this. But when I cut it, it didn't look great. This is your other option, is this microfiber cloth from the Dollar Tree automotive section. Let me know down below which one do you like. Which one do you think? I'm also going to be using these Dollar Tree booties and I will give you an alternate for those if you can't find those. All right, so I'm going to be using the 6.9 inch cone from the Dollar Tree. It's not really a cone because it has this like weird lobbed off top. I'm going to be using something for a halo from the Dollar Tree wire, a wreath, white crafter square felt, and I'm going to be using nylon stuffed, but you can also use a pom pom, a wood bead, and you're going to use the templates which are down below. Now here, choose a team. Let me know in the comments, which do you think is gonna work? What do you think is gonna work? And what do you think is gonna make a hot, hot mess and not look good in the end? I may be a little jaded. All right, so instead of what I'm gonna do, you're gonna use Crafter Square white felt to make the hat and to wrap the styrofoam cone. If in case you can't find these in the baby party favor section, use these. These are the boot ornaments from the Dollar Tree. They're so stinking cute. And Hobby Lobby has some, Walmart has some, Amazon has some. There's tons of them out there right now. Okay, so here, don't do this. I'm warning you. Oh, she did it. I now have crafters hindsight. So it all goes terribly wrong. I'm gonna show you. All right, so here what I did is I ended up cutting, don't do this, cutting the, the backing away from the muffler to use as my wrap for my styrofoam cone. Do you need to do this? No. What did we talk about, class? Use the felt. It will produce the same look. You will need to go over it twice, just as you do with this, because the crafter square felt is pretty thin. But all you're gonna do is roll it. And the whole object is just to A, cover most of the cone, and B, make sure you get about a one inch lip of fabric all the way around the bottom edge, because we're going to cut that off and hide the bottom of our cone with it. That's it, just roll. Look how easy this is. Look how simple. Look how unknowing we are about what is to come. All right, all I'm gonna do here is straighten up this seam. I'm sorry, this edge and then make a little seam. Do get your finger guards out or this little face masky thing that I got at the Dollar Tree, or I actually got it on Amazon, but you can get it on the Dollar Tree. Protect your fingers. All right, glue that down and then cut off the bottom. See that big like extra triangle there? Just cut, cut it off into about a straight-ish line. And then you're just going to snip vertically into that fabric about every three quarters of an inch or so. Look at that. And then glue those down. Now we have a nice finished edge. If you are not using booties uh, or you just want to make it really, really, you know, finished, cut a uh, piece of the felt and put that, glue that right on that bottom as well. Glue down the top and then move on to the most tragic section of this craft. No, I'm kidding. So you are going to need a lightweight card uh, stock and I don't mean like regular card stock I mean like crafter stock or lightweight cardboard just paint it white because uh, we need it not to show the color because you have your white paint already go ahead and paint your booties if you're using them they have pink and blue and both of them will need a coat of paint I used my heat gun to keep this craft to about 15 minutes it may be a 10 minute craft if you didn't make four pairs of wings like I did all right so once those are dry you're just gonna use something heavy and of a small but sizable piece. Uh, you need something weight in here. Don't put sand in here. Put in the rocks or the vase filler, those larger white rocks at the Dollar Tree. Just put a little hot glue, put a little rock, put a little hot glue, put a little rock. Just make sure your rocks are underneath that top edge of the booty because that's how we're going to attach our cone. Looks good from back here, right? Look here. It doesn't look good at all. You'll see. I try and fix it. A waste 
a good six minutes or so of my life. <laughs> All right, so here you can see it didn't look good with just the two layers. So I went through around the entire outer edge, tucking in the seam, co covering everything up and looks really good from back here, right? But if I told you and you brought this to me in person, I would be embarrassed that I shared it with you and didn't tell you. You're gonna have to do a lot of work to make that look good. But if you're like me and don't wanna do all that work ever, ever, ever again, uh, just cut out your template, add glue, and just stick it down on the chamois. Yep, just stay with me. This is my fourth set of these Dollar Tree wings and I'm telling you, this one's the winner. <laughs> So just glue it down and then you cut a one quarter inch allowance all the way around that outside edge so we can glue the edges together, hiding all the ugly seams. So now I'm gonna put glue on the cardboard but I'm also gonna put it on that outer edge and then I'm just gonna just, yep, flop it down on top. Turn it over, add your glue, make sure you're getting those edges and then flop it down on top. You see how easy this is? You see how no fluff has escaped? Look at my arms. That's after lint rolling, not once, not twice, but three times. All right, so once you have your second layer, you just cut all the way around it, make sure you've got all these pieces joined up and move on to your hat. You're gonna fold over the crafter square white felt four and a half inches along that bottom. And then you're gonna measure eight inches, make a little snip. And here's the trick to a nice cone hat. You're gonna go up about 1.5 inches and then you're gonna cut from the top of that 1.5 inch cut all the way to your eight inch cut up here. When you unfold it, well actually you don't even have to unfold it, don't unfold yet. We're going to cut the rise. This is called the rise. Just cut it all the way back to the fold and then you can unfold it and look at what you've got. You can cut off the top like I do into a flat mark. It's just easier when you flip it over. So we're just gonna hot glue down. Be careful, this stuff is so thin that the hot glue goes through it. Um, but you're just gonna hot glue down that very long edge, leaving the bottom open. And once it has set, you're just going to turn the hat right sides out. That's it. If you're covering the little booties, cut two six inch wide by 1.5 inch tall pieces out of the white crafter's felt. Take your hot glue and spread that glue right in the middle of a bottom and then add your booty just at the toe. Wait till that dries and then just add glue all the way around this bottom edge. Make sure to add it uh, right along the back and then cut off the excess of one side so that you can wrap the other side, again adding glue only along the bottom and uh, joining it up so that you cut a straight line ish straight ish line and then glue that in place in back now for the front easiest way to do this you've seen me do this in my gnomes shoes and boots pattern we're going to press the center of the front right into this little divot after putting a piece of hot or little dollop of hot glue and then we pinch together the two front pieces glue them in place and trim off the back excess and then glue down this back all the way around. And then what we're gonna do is have a nice sturdy place to put our cone on and affix it easily. All right, look at those little shoes, hello. All right, back over to this guy. We're gonna slip on our hat just to make sure we get the measurements for everything. Put a little fluff in the top of the hat because the Dollar Tree is like more of a lobbed off cone than a, than a cone. All right, so for the beard, I just kind of eyeballed, measured about a halfway around beard and I cut out a square. I'm going to just fold that over and cut a sort of flattened U shape. Match up the very bottom of my beard to the very bottom of the cone and then glue it on. Easy peasy, yeah? Whole lot less mess too. Slip on the hat, get your idea of how big you want your nose. I took a little bit of the microfiber towel, I put it into the nylon petty sock, wrapped it once, twisted it in a knot, wrapped it again, and then tied it off in a knot. Cut that excess off, and then I'm gonna glue it straight to the beard. Near the top, I just wanted to be able to scrunch up the nose to get that look that I like. Add a little hot glue, give it an intense nose boop. And now fold over the brim of the hat and glue that right together and then onto the top of the hat. You don't need a hot, lot of hot glue. This is uh, really thin felt. If I haven't said that before, it's thin felt. 
So all I'm doing here is tucking down the edge of my hat and then securing that all the way around the nose. All right, for the wings, I'm just going to trim off any of the microfiber right where I'm going to put the channel of hot glue to attach it to my gnome, just so we can make sure we have a lot of adhesion. And then I'm just going to attach it on back. I did end up gluing just the sides, like kind of in a little bit, so it kind of like looked like they were pointed forward. Once that was set, I just put my little shoes together, put hot glue on the top and like kind of like where it would go inside so it doesn't goop out the edge. And then I just put my little gnome right like so. All right, I just used a little piece of gold wire, wrapped it around my paint bottle, twisted it right there, and then cut a longer stem so that I could just literally stick it into the entire back of this thing. <laughs> so you can, <laughs> you can stick it into the fiber, you can stick it into the styrofoam cone, whatever you'd like. Here are the wings. These are the wings that I would recommend you do, which means two layers and then wrap all the edges. This is what it looks like if it doesn't get wrapped. I know it's hard to see, but it's so unfinished. It's PC. I just think this is your better option. And he's pretty sweet. I think he's pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Also down below, sign up for our newsletter and get that free wing template. As always, I sincerely appreciate you being here. Like and subscribe. And hey, you should check out this playlist.